It's a routine that's become all too familiar in Nablus in recent months. Nighttime violence followed by a morning procession to the morgue. On Tuesday, Israeli forces carried out a large-scale raid on an apartment it says was being used as a rebel headquarters and explosives manufacturing site. A joint statement from the Israeli army, police and intelligence agencies says the apartment was home to the lion's den, a relatively new group of young Palestinian fighters who have carried out anti-Israeli operations in Nablus in recent weeks. The Palestinian Health Ministry says the dead are men aged in their 20s and 30s. Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid says the group's top commander is among them. We will not permit the existence of terrorist organizations that harm Israeli civilians and army soldiers. The assassination of the head of the Lion's Den organization, Wadiya al Ho, along with additional terrorists, is the result of joint efforts by the security forces. This daily killing by the Israeli army for the Palestinians should stop immediately and uh, Israel is completely responsible for this escalation and the American administration should move immediately before it's too late. Palestinians in Nablus are worried about more Israeli operations. On Sunday, Tamir Keilani, another leader of the group, was killed in an explosion, an operation attributed to Israel. But Nablus was at the crosshairs of the Israeli army even before Tuesday. This is the entrance of the city of Nablus in the occupied West Bank. Israel installed these mobile gates around two weeks ago to impose closure on the town shortly after a Palestinian killed an Israeli soldier in a village near Nablus. The closure isolates Nablus from the surrounding neighborhood and reportedly is an attempt by the Israeli army to curb the activities of the line stand. But some analysts are concerned any further Israeli military raids could cause more violence. And I would argue the Israeli authorities and the military and the government are oftentimes playing with fire, uh, going in very strong, as they see it, for real operational needs, counter-terror raids uh, and arrests, uh, and in certain instances assassinations, uh, is one thing, uh, but the fallout uh, that we've seen now over the past several months uh, is a real danger in terms of overall stability in the West Bank and greater violence and bloodshed, uh, not only on the Palestinian side, of course, but also on the Israeli side. An Israeli campaign, known as Operation Breakwater, has seen near nightly confrontations in the northern Occupy West Bank. It's one of the largest operations outside of wartime in decades. And after Tuesday's deadly raid, it shows no sign of ending. Mustafa Fatio's TRT World, Occupied West Bank.